Along outside of the front fence ran the country road, dusty in the summertime, and a good place for snakes. They liked to lie in it and sun themselves. When they were rattlesnakes or puff adders, we killed them. When they were black snakes or racers or belonged to the fabled hoop breed, we fled without shame. When they were house snakes or garters, we carried them home and put them in Aunt Patsy's work basket for a surprise. For she was prejudiced against snakes, and always when she took the basket in her lap and they began to climb out of it, it disordered her mind. She never could seem to get used to them. Her opportunities went for nothing. And she was always cold toward bats, too, and could not bear them. And yet I think a bat is as friendly a bird as there is. My mother was Aunt Patsy's sister and had the same wild superstitions. A bat is beautifully soft and silky. I do not know any creature that is pleasanter to the touch or is more grateful for caressings, if offered in the right spirit. I know all about these coleoptera because our great cave three miles below Hannibal was multitudinously stocked with them, and often I brought them home to amuse my mother with. It was easy to manage if it was a school day, because then I had ostensibly been to school and hadn't any bats. She was not a suspicious person, but full of trust and confidence. And when I said, There's something in my coat pocket for you, she would put her hand in. But she always took it out again herself. I didn't have to tell her. It was remarkable the way she couldn't learn to like private bats. The more experience she had, the more she could not change her views.